Hello everyone and welcome back to daily tuition. In this tutorial, we are creating water waves animation. I will show you how you can create the water waves and increase water level randomly. Using JavaScript, we randomly change the water level. We also take a look how to create water drops to increase your water level. But before we start this video, make sure you press the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get notified of my every new video and also like this video if you find anything useful in this video. So before we getting late, let's get started. First, we want to open the Visual Studio code and open empty folder in that studio. And here, we just wanted to create two files. So we'll create index.html and one more file which is stun.css. And in, in index.html file, I just wanted to create a simple HTML5 snippet and change title to water waves and link style.css file using link tag. I will save this document. In the body section, I will first create cup. So here I will create box class. So to create a water, we create a div with wave class right save the document i just wanted to open this document in live server so i'll just open that and split this window here right and in style.css i just wanted to add some style to this document so we first wanted to center this element so we specify html and body and specify height 100% and we specify background 444 and save this off. After that, we will select the box class and specify width 70 pixel, we specify height. 75 pixel then we specify border 2 pixel solid white then we specify border radius 0.3 em position relative box shadow 2 pixel, 0 pixel, and we specify 40 pixel here and specify black color. Right? I just wanted to center this box. So just uh, here we're gonna create body and specify display flex, justify content center and align items center now i just wanted to create the waves so i just wanted to first create the water so to create a water we have wave class so we'll select that first and we specify width 150 pixel height 150 pixel and we specify position absolute then we specify the background color light blue left 50% bottom minus 190% then we add border radius 33 percent right after that we add a transition to all 1.4 second liner save the document now i don't want to add this solid background color to it so i will 
add some liner gradient to it so what i will do is i will create a class over here light blue and specify background liner gradient to right specify color and we just wanted to specify this class to this waves so we add light blue right i think i just wanted to change this when i specified i think it's d right that's the color we want just after that now we just want to create an animation for this box so here i will create a keyframe and specify the name waves for the zero percent we specify transform property to rotate zero and for the hundred percent we specify transform property rotate 360 degree and we apply this animation to waves here so we'll say animation and specify waves duration is 2.4 second liner infinite and save the document right and now i just wanted to hide this overflow content so in box here in the box class i will specify overflow here now in the keyframe i just wanted to add border radius 30 percent i'll just copy this one and paste in the 100 percent also and here i will create 45 percent and specify border radius 39 percent and also i just wanted to add bottom property here bottom minus 170 pixel and in the 100 percent we specify bottom minus 80 pixel i just want to change the bottom value in the animation so it's look like this now i just wanted to increase this box size so we'll go to the box over here and transform scale one point I just want to scale this one to right now we will create a health for this box so in index file i just wanted to create here a division tag with health class and specify div with handle class here save the document and in style.css file i will select health class and specify width 120 pixel then we specify height 90 pixel margin left 35 pixel background red i just wanted to show you the hilt division that is why we add background color to it right so we are creating the hilt over here then we specify overflow property hidden to it now we'll select handle class and specify width 120 pixel height 70 pixel 
border 8 pixel solid color and we specify border radius it's gonna be 4 again then we add border left none and then we're gonna add transform translate x minus 60 pixel right and we'll remove this background properly that's it now i just want to change the left property of the waves so here i just wanted to specify minus 50 percent so it will look like this now you will see the water level is increasing but we just wanted to increase the water level randomly and we also wanted to create water drops what about that so let's get started and create a javascript section of the tutorial so here we just wanted to create a script and we'll first create a variable wave and specify document dot query selector and select the wave class then we create a variable bottom and specify the bottom property to it so the bottom property is this one bottom 170 pixel minus 170 pixel but we are not using pixel here because we wanted to specify the number value to this variable so we'll remove the pixel from it after that we'll create a document load function so we're gonna create window dot and event listener and we call load event and the second parameter is gonna be a function right and here we just wanted to call move function now we just wanted to create this move function so here we'll create a function move in that function we first create a variable id and specify set interval and call the frame function in the first parameter and specify calling duration which is two seconds now here in this function we create one more function frame and here we just check if the bottom is greater than or equal to minus 120 then then we just wanted to change the bottom property of waves class so we'll say wave dot style dot bottom is equal to bottom plus percentage right then we're gonna change the bottom property using bottom is equal to bottom minus 25 now in the, in the else statement we'll just copy this statement and paste it here and change the bottom is equal to bottom minus minus 25 here we just minus the plus 25 from the bottom property and here we'll minus the minus 25 from the bottom property 
right save your document now we just wanted to remove the bottom property from the keyframe so we just go over here in the style.css file and here from the keyframe i just wanted to remove the bottom bottom property so just i'll just comment this one and this one save your document now you will see the water level is randomly increasing I wanted to show you the bottom property on the console so I just wanted to here say console.log and call the bottom property copy this one and paste it here call the inspect and from the console I just wanted to run this one again you will see the bottom property over here now i will just want to change this bottom property 25 to just 15 you will see the bottom value over here now the time is to create water drops so in index file I will first create over here D with drops class and we also want to add some color to it so we'll call the light blue class copy this D and paste it here so we we'll wanted to create two drops so we'll just create two Ds here with drops class in style.css file we'll go over here just call the drops and specify width 20 pixel height 20 pixel then we specify position absolute top 20 pixel left 44 percent then we specify border radius 1 em then we'll specify border top right radius 0.2 em now we'll just want to do select the second drop so here we'll select the drops We'll call the pseudo selector which is nth child 2 then we specify left property 42 percent to it right i just wanted to create animation to this water drops so here we create keyframes drops and specify and for the 0% specify opacity 0.2 transform translate y 0 and rotate minus 40 degree then for the 20% We specify opacity 1 and for the 100% we specify transform translate y 350 pixel and rotate property is gonna be minus 40 degree if you don't want to use this rotate property over here you can specify this property to here also to the drop so we'll just remove this property 
and specify here transform rotate minus 40 degree right i will remove this property from here also now just wanted to call this animation in the drops so we'll just call animation drops two second liner infinite you will see this animation so i will just remove this one and here i'll specify rotate minus 40 degree i will copy this one and paste it here right so you will see this effect now i just wanted to specify here in this for the second drop we will specify animation delay 0 0.6 second so you will see the second drop later when you run this one you will see this second drop over here so just here specify opacity 0 when you run this one again you don't see this right when you run that you will see this effect but these drops are fading here we'll change the opacity right now so here i just call the opacity property to one so you will see this effect that's it if you find anything useful in this tutorial then must press the like button subscribe to this channel and press the subscribe button that is all for now we will see you in the next lecture till then be happy and keep watching